Hello art lovers, it is upgrade time, let's open upgrade 44 and discover the goodies inside. This box suffered a little incident in my mailbox, it got a tiny wet but it's okay. Everything looks good. Well, except for the bottle post. It's a little sticky, but it's okay. We can make do with this. Included in this box is a very nice thick watercolor paper. A print from the feature artist, Ludwig. Some random metallic marker and the treasure right here. Let me get this out and I'll show you. This is a... Fudenosuke gray and black marker, art space pocket watercolor set with 12 pans, art space markers with brush and a chisel nib. I'm guessing it's some sort of alcohol marker. And let's begin the swatchy swatchy on my upgrade swatchy swatchy book. Let's save keep these stickers over here and over here and over here and label our spread upgrade 44 this is the upgrade for april 2023 this fudenosuke tumble marker is pretty interesting it has a flexible nib like the nib on the alcohol markers it reminds me of hand lettering too I wonder if I can use it for that. Well, I guess I can if I really want. I'm placing a piece of paper to protect the back pages because I am about to swatchy swatchy these alcohol markers. And these babies can bleed through pages like crazy. Right now, I am doing the layer test with the markers to see how the tone of the color changes with the different layers. One layer is lighter. And as you lay down more layers, the color becomes darker. In some colors, this is more noticeable. Also, not every brand layers the same. It is also good to test the blendability of the markers because just as the ability to layer, the blendability will vary with the color and the brand amongst other factors such as paper. Now it is time to activate the watercolor and swatch them. I have never used alcohol markers and watercolors together, so to me, this is a weird combo. But as I always say, I will always try. So far, the pigments are rich, and the texture of the watercolor itself is very smooth. Not chalky at all. I really do not like chalky watercolors. The paint is spreading smoothly and evenly, which is something else I like my watercolors to do. But I have to see how they react when I am painting a bigger picture and how they would work on the paper upgrade provided in this box. The color selection is okay. The yellows, greens, and blues are very similar. Reds are okay one warm and one cold I can work with that purples very deep I like it besides all these I think I can work with these colors let's see what I can accomplish I really love how Clodwig the feature artist portrays her farm animals so let me do some light sketching in my style and I'll show you really soon what I will be working on I felt very inspired by this box and this artist, so I made two sketches, but I think this one would be the best to use for this specific box. Let's use the cutest washi tape 
to tape the paper down to a hard surface. This helps to keep the edges nice and crisp and prevents the paper from warping. Now I will stop rambling about this and that and let's go straight to use the materials and test them out by creating a cute picture.
my final impressions on this box. I really like the colors and how well they worked when I colored with them over the alcohol marker. The fine liner was good, but a bit odd to use since I'm used to tracing my work with a regular nib and not a brush nib or a flexible nib, but it worked out okay. The paper was good as well. I am not sure why it kept repelling the water. Maybe I was painting on the wrong side? Let me know in the comments if you know the reason why. But after a few tries of testing out different things, the paper finally accepted the color. Overall, this was a good box in my opinion. If I had to rate it, I would give it an 8 on 10. Well guys, this is it. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of Upgrade 44 and the creative process for this piece. Do not forget to subscribe and I will see you next video. Bye!